Extra, extra. Read all about it. Aries, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. The oracle card reading is an energy reading. It's not a horoscope. So it is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, Uranus, Pluto, whatever Aries influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies or themes for the next week or so. Um, there are, or even if Aries, <laughs> even if you're dealing with an Aries outside of yourself, that, that counts too, guys. Pull up a chair. Find out what's going on. Um, the tarot card reading in the extended is a little bit deeper. So what that does is it expands upon the energies that we, we, um, expose here. Um, it goes into specifics, goes into details, the, the who and, and, uh, like the players, basically it reveals the players on the board and also includes a romance reading as well. So boogie on over there, please. After, um, you finish this reading or you can go there now, whatever you want, watch them in whatever order. It usually makes more sense when you watch this one first, but um, please do click subscribe to the channel. Uh, you'll help the channel grow and you can also ring that bell and get notified when I upload the new Aries video because I upload a new Aries video every single week. So let's get into it. Aries. Nope, splitting this deck. Oh, splitting this deck in many ways. Nope, here. All right, all right, here we go. Aries, 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 Aries. Aries, Aries. Aries. Spirit has a plan, but it's in reverse, so life is up to you. Spirit is sitting there watching you, waiting, and uh, following along. In other words, this is a great manifestation period for you. A time of seeing things in a different light, looking at things in a different way, or even if it's even if it's a forced perspective. To in other words, a forced change of perspective. To be able to... Um, shake you up if you think about it this is the cocoon this is the cocoon pose almost like the hanged man and it's set, it's it's basically saying it's not that spirit isn't present it is but spirit is asking you to some for some reason it's 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 asking you to be treading water right now or suspended and this suspension is all about trans transforming into something that is different so there is great transformation in your life right now, Aries. It could very well be you're changing careers. It could be that you're changing perspectives and understanding kind of a different, kind of getting your first glimpse into what the other side feels like, the other side in quotation marks. So put that any way you want, other side of the tracks, other side of the country, other side of the world, um, other side of your apartment, you know, other side of your relationship. It's it's being made vulnerable in order to understand what that really entails emotionally and psychologically. Like, what does feeling vulnerable feel like? You know, uh, it's a sense of, because it's not an Aries trait to feel vulnerable or allow themselves to feel vulnerable. So this is a prolonged and suspended a prolonged vulnerability. Almost like your greatest inquiry into life right now is to understand what it feels like to just be hung up by your legs and not be able to move or go anywhere and have to really defend yourself in ways, maybe even feeling like you're always on the defensive and, and having to be really creative with how you can even feel useful or less vulnerable right now. Um, but there's a, there's a sense of, yes, destiny, like this was supposed to be, this is part of your growth. This is part of your expansion. You know, this is, this is the part of your life when you were supposed to change, which is why you're being forced to like flipped upside down right now in, 
it's preceding the change because it, your mindset is the first thing that has to change. And that's what this, whatever this very vulnerable position is, that's what it's for, is to change your understanding of the world and your mindset. Um, so this could very well be however you feel most vulnerable. You could be in the most wonderful relationship in your, of your life right now, but you've never been here before. It's new and you feel vulnerable because this isn't something that you feel completely and totally in control of. transformation. So it's not going to be long until you fly. And if for those of you who are perplexed or worried or, you know, like the suspension is getting to you as in really feeling, really feeling uncomfortable here and not wanting to be here long. Usually spirit has a way of prolonging until you find a way to get comfortable, feeling uncomfortable and incorporate the new understanding into who you are that's when you sprout wings and as soon as that happens to you as soon as you almost get comfortable hanging upside down the transformation the change is going to happen but this is really saying to me the fact that one came out the crowning energy came out and the first card out is awakening and the butterfly blooming with wings is basically Aries there will be movement soon whatever your predicament or whatever the predicament is yeah wherever you're stuck wherever you are suspended and feeling vulnerable this relationship is there to change you it's not just there to change your circumstance it's there to change everything about who you are and i feel like this growth is going to happen surrender now um this is avoiding the flame this is, is holding yourself back so that you don't crash and burn this is a sense in 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 a, in a way but it's not avoidance it's intelligence, it's smart, it's wisdom. It's nope, not flying right into it. Th this is you using your wisdom and newfound strength to not burn, to not crash and burn. Truth transcends illusion. Um, this is the truth and reality of who you are. This is Aquarius, Aquarius energy. So this is truth and this is friendship and almost once again complete and total change because dragonfly is um a creature similar to butterfly of transition and metamorphosis so <clears throat> there may be a little bit of resistance here to you right now i don't know if you're dealing with a sagittarius but this could be a sense of more resistance than pulling back from you than pulling away um maybe trying to resist or hold back or not being ready yet to move to the next level, move to the next step. Mm. There is a sense of pulling back. Sweet results away. Yeah, you're taking, yeah, listen, you're doing the right thing. You're being wise with the decisions that you make. Um, no, stop. This is your central energy. So this is this is Leo energy, Aries. So this is feeling really good about what you who you are and what you've accomplished. This is working hard. This is a good choice. Whatever you are working on, whatever new endeavor you are trying, Aries, it is going to pay off in the most beautiful ways. You just keep working at it because remember the bee makes the honey from hard work. You know, um, bees don't just get honey. It takes a lot of, it takes a lot of sacrifice and, and work. Um, this could also be, no, I think this is more about you. This is a personal journey that you're going through and this central energy being Leo energy tells me yes that's that's what it is because this is this is success 
And there's an amazing success that happens after you've allowed yourself to change and get away from those things that weren't working for you or those of, of, of just burning yourself out. Let's put it that way. Because it, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't sincere. Time to let go of those things that were bothering you, needling your heart, really aggravating you. And I, I swear to God, Aries, this is the stuff that you pushed way, way down. The stuff that had been bugging you for quite some time, but you, you stopped acknowledging how much it was bugging you because it, you know, it, it didn't, it didn't work for you to acknowledge it didn't work. You know, you had work to do and, and whatever you were feeling had to be left outside of that. Um, this is scorpionic energy. Somebody expo could be somebody exposing something that you didn't want to talk about. This is the last leg of your transformation. Somebody bringing something up that is really bothering you. And no, this person didn't do it on purpose. They didn't, they didn't say it on purpose. They weren't trying to hurt you. But something that they said, could have been in general conversation, has stayed with you and bugged you. And that is also intentional. That's also just to spur you into or keep you going in the direction that you were going. Keep you from turning back. Act as if. So this is the pretenses coming off and falling away. This is change. One plus four is five. No longer disguising or hiding, making yourself truly vulnerable because you're exposing your authenticity. What is coming out? Something was hidden and it's being revealed. Something that was under the surface. Really puts a whole new perspective. It's sort of an expose on something that's been tolerated for a long time. It's like the true, it's like the true nature of somebody is coming out. And watch your words. This is the energy of nine. Ooh. This is Gemini energy. You're receiving messages. You're having words with somebody. That's what's going on. And those words that you're exchanging are revealing a lot about the, 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 that person's truth. A truth that they have not shared with you. And I think it's because they've been like suppressing it. It's been needling them. It's been bugging them. It's been, it's, but they've just pushed it down, pushed it down, pushed it down. To, to blend in, blend in. I'm just going to go along with what Aries says. I'm just going to go along with it. I'm just going to go along with it. I don't know why. Doing it for friendship's sake. Doing it for love's sake. Doing it just for the sake of, of keeping the peace. Keeping the status quo. But it has been building. This could be an old friend. Could be, I mean, yes, of course it could be a lover, but this is definitely somebody that you've known for a while. So either something has been exposed recently about them or they have said something that makes a crack in their story so far. And if, if that crack basically is about to open a geyser because it reveals, it reveals the true thoughts of this person. And I just think it reveals their authenticity that they've been hiding and suppressing to, to avoid conflict with you. Maybe they're changing. That's what it is. You're dealing with somebody who's changing and you don't like it. You can get through this. You will get through this. Probably a little bit defensively. This is Taurus energy. Um, this could have to do... This is just having a lot of certainty and pride and stubbornness. 
Also, this could be like bull in a china shop energy where watch your words because words are coming out not so eloquently. Effectively, but you feel bulldozed. Let's put it that way. Sometimes that card comes out when, when yes, you feel bulldozed. Oh, shit. Life is a mystery. This was unknown. This was uncertain. But it's destined. The destiny is right now uncertain. And any kind of stubbornness isn't really going to help to uncover it. That's what you're just trying to, you're just basically trying to get through this right now because something's about to be exposed. Oh, let spirit be your guide. Another change, more change, oh, lots of change. The change of direction is about to be exposed. As well as 555. There's a lot of change going on. But it's a change of some, it's like, how can I say this? It's a change of somebody's face. It's a change of somebody's, like the way that you see somebody. It's like now you know they've been hiding something from you. And that what they've been hiding, it's not, it's not like something like, I don't know. I mean, it could be like something like an affair or like an espionage, you know. But it's more parts of themselves that they've been hiding. Like they've just sort of been deciding to behave like they're light and they're objective when they're not. They're really like judgmental and stubborn. It's like judgmental and stubborn has been disguised as wise and light and, and um, far seeing. Also, maybe even protective or guiding, guidance guiding you. But now it's like, but that's not what it is. It's more pushing you. It's starting to expose itself as being, but it, it, you're pushing me into the direction that you want me to go because you really don't, don't see the large picture. You just see one direction. And I don't mean the band. <laughs> Let me flip the um, 1717. You're, de you're dealing with a divine counterpart or somebody that you have known for quite some time, a soulmate of sorts, which could be a lover, but it could also be a best friend, could also be a parent, whoever is that kind of energy in your life, somebody that you thought was a soulmate, is now almost like becoming or revealing parts of themselves that are shocking you. Um, you will get through this. By basically just like following, like following spirit, quote unquote. Um, trying to remain objective, trying to remain um, unemotional. Yeah, trying to remain unemotional to just get through it and sort of keep a mask on you. Now you're the one that's kind of shutting down. at first I thought this was more about you Aries but I think it's something that you're dealing with and feel very kind of exposed maybe you let yourself you exposed yourself to somebody you let yourself be vulnerable and they're not the person you thought they were you're trying to ground yourself by basically like hiding that stubbornness like hiding like, like not hiding. Yeah, like, hold on. Let me flip the camera around so you can see the cards. It's almost like you're hiding the fact that you have, that you're, that you want them to go in one direction. It's like, it's almost like you're hiding your true intentions. That's what it is. Or somebody in your life is hiding their true intentions, which is to push you in a specific direction. Or you wanted to push them in a specific direction. Like that's your plan. But there's, it's almost like they're throwing chinks in that plan. Because there's parts of them that are coming out that either don't respect you, like you, or sync up with you as much as they originally said. And their words are going to expose that. 
let's figure out what comes out of this situation. I'm going to head on over to Tarot. Um, there's going to be that romance reading there as well. Aries, the link is in the description box below. I'll see you guys over there.